Hey everybody, it's Nicole from the Kirkwood Library to talk to you today about how to find a peer-reviewed article. I want to just have a quick word about what peer review is. Peer review is a scholarly practice, often practiced when folks are writing for scholarly journals, and these journals are places where new knowledge is created, researchers can publish their findings. So you have an author who might be a scientist or a researcher uh, in the humanities. They write a draft, it gets sent to a committee of other folks who really understand the field, maybe other scientists or other people who are experts in the area of, say, law, the humanities business. Uh, through the editorial process, it might go back to the author. They might correct it, have it come back. Uh, when it comes to publication, the audience can often comment, things like that, and authors can kind of improve. So this is kind of a way to know that what's being written is the highest quality around. And peer review is the gold standard in academic um, life. So that's why we're often interested in students reading peer-reviewed literature. To get to it at the Kirkwood Library from the Kirkwood homepage at kirkwood.edu, you can see down here we have a link to the library. Uh, and then you can simply get, get started searching here. Notice that you can limit your search right away to articles. But just to help you learn a little bit more about the library, I'm going to start from everything. So I'm going to pretend I am doing a paper on social media and censorship. So I'm simply going to type it in. You'll notice I used a handful of keywords. Academic databases often do well with keywords rather than typing in a whole sentence or a whole question, though you're certainly welcome to try it both ways. I'll notice a few things when I get to this uh, first page that I land on. One is lots of different formats. I have an ebook here. If I scroll down a little bit, I can see I have a print book. Of course, we know we're interested in peer reviewed articles, but I want to get you in the practice of limiting your results over here in this little box that says format. Here, articles, peer review. I'm simply going to check peer reviewed, and that will take me to this smaller pot of uh, relevant articles. I'm going to scroll down till I find one that looks kind of interesting to me. So if this is of interest to me, I can simply click on the title, find out a few more things like where it was published, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the full text. If you're doing this from home, which we really hope that you will do, or another location not at Kirkwood, please note you'll be asked to log in, and that's simply because, of course, the library is paying for these resources. That's perfectly okay. Everything at the library, you should log in with your K number and EagleNet password. If you ever have any trouble, don't hesitate to call a librarian, or even from our homepage here, you can use this online chat to chat li right away live with a librarian, as long as a librarian is on duty during our hours. Okay, so back to my article. Um, here I'm on the page with just the metadata. Metadata is simply the information about the article, who wrote it, where it appeared. I can see this is from 2012. Over here on the left, I'm going to go for PDF full text. Full text is kind of a library word for the actual thing itself, the full text of the article. And here we go. I have a PDF uh, peer-reviewed article. If you ever have any question if an article is peer-reviewed, uh, it's a great time to ask a librarian or your instructor for some help. It's occasionally challenging to figure that out. Um, this one's from a law journal. I happen to know law journals are often peer reviewed, so I feel pretty comfortable with it. But if you ever have any questions, that's what we're here to help with. I'm gonna head back to my search results just to kind of show you a few other um, ways that articles might look. So let's say I'm interested in this article here. I'm going to go on over to my full text going to download my PDF full text. Just another example of what a scholarly peer-reviewed article can often look like. So, helpful if you haven't, uh, haven't seen that kind of thing before. One last word to the wise is that sometimes databases uh, take a little bit of work. For instance, this number one article here, Censor, Censorship of Social Media in China, I notice that's coming from the publication Science, which does, as a publication, practice peer review. But this, uh, this item, notice it's a slightly different screen, but again, I'm going to look for my magical full text PDF. And what I find here 
is the thing that I have found is actually just a little tiny blurb that appeared in the magazine Science with a lot of other items. This probably is not what your instructor is looking for if they're asking you to read a peer-reviewed article. Even though Science itself practices peer review, uh, I'm going to guess that this little brief was not peer-reviewed and probably is not the kind of thing that you're looking for. So um, just a heads up if you're having any trouble with the database, once again, librarians here to help you, instructors always around to help you as well. Um, don't hesitate to go all the way to the bottom of the page and to even go a couple pages into your search results. The research says most of us are, are used to Google and how good Google is at getting us what we want. Uh, but as a researcher, go ahead and spend a little bit more time, dig in to find something that is really relevant to what you're looking at uh, and will help you learn something amazing and substantive about the world. So in the meantime, happy reading and take care.